time now. Round two of the early show cook-off. In this corner, last time we tried our hand at comfort foods. All this week long, it is the battle for breakfast. Each day this week, a celebrity chef, in this case our good friend Tim Love, will help us make one of our favorite breakfast foods and then judge the results. At the end of the week, we'll crown a winner and make a donation to that anchor's name, uh, to in the name of his or her charity. I'm getting, I'm, I'm You're very, so, yeah. really this is very You're nervous nice. for me. I'm, I've been stressing about this breathe. for breathe. years now. Breathe, breathe, breathe deeply. We kick things off, as we mentioned, with Tim Love, chef and owner of Fort Worth's Lonesome Dove Western Bistro. I just have to say, they have their game faces on. I, I'm not getting a word in edgewise because they are so, especially, you got to be, watch out for these two. Uh, listen, we're, we, have we to thought it was a friendly ourselves. competition last time. It turned into something altogether different. Got a little ugly. We're we're prepared this time. So Erica, we're, this we're is your right. this is your dish. So we yes, yeah, so we each pick a dish each day. So I picked grits because I love grits. Love it. I've never actually made grits, but I really enjoy eating them. <laughs> And you're the, you're the man. <laughs> I love the way you laugh. Like, like, uh, cackle. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's not that I can't make them. I just didn't have course, that time. Of course, of course not. Yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. And grits do take time. That's a good thing to point out. Unless they you buy do. the quick grits. You can't. Uh, but that doesn't count, right? Well, it counts. And it fixes. It works. Good. Yeah, it what, fixes. It works. What it, for folks who are familiar with them? We know they're really big in the South. That's where I fell in love with them. But if you've never made grits before, what what are grits? Oh, grits are, you know, it's basically dried corn that's been ground. And oddly enough, the way that grits are made it makes them a little bit more healthy for you. By the way, they're ground up, it releases more nutrients from the corn than mm -hmm. just eating corn on the cob. I love it when breakfast uh, is good for us. Exactly. At the same time, the things that we put into the grits are the things that aren't good for us, right? Well, Cheese, yeah, everybody cream, needs, whatnot, everybody right? needs calcium. So for me, Jeez. when I make grits, uh, I got to tell you, the main thing about grits when you make them is you got to salt the water. Okay. Because if you make grits and then try to salt them, it's never going to happen. All right. You'll never get them to be seasoned well enough. So you want to salt the water. It's the most important thing in making grits. And then, well, you're, because we see you stirring here, and it's right. you know, sort of reminiscent. If, every, if anybody ever makes risotto, you have to stand over and stir right. the whole time. How long does it take to make grits? Um, well, hold Raggy. on. Is everybody starting? Don't Raggy, the right. cheating the has started. Is okay. there a judge here? I mean, what I'm is the this? judge. I'm Tim, the judge. come on. Yeah. Police work. I didn't see it. That's true. Now, to make grits, uh, it takes about 45 minutes to make real stone ground grits, but okay. there's different variants. You got quick grits, grits, and stone ground grits. So, okay, here, so but we, we, we all need have to get grits. Started. We need to get started. You've made grits for grits each one cheating. of us. Grits is cheating. Jeff is nervous. Well, well we, we all start three. working on our grits. Y'all so so start about working. What you're putting That's in right. Yours. So for me, when I make grits, I, I like to have I salt the water first. Very important. I use chicken stock to make the grits to give them a little bit more flavor, and then I finish with a little bit of jalapenos that I've chopped up here, and then a little bit of smoked cheddar. Ooh. Now, if you want to get real fancy. You can add eggs to it and then bake them, and it fluffs the grits up. You just, so you just put that in the oven when you get fancy that's right, like that? That's right. But this right here makes a tremendously nice, good-looking grit here. And I'm going to taste mine to make sure I'm good. That's a lot of butter. I think I put too much butter in. <laughs> so it begins, Jeff Clore. <laughs> right there. All right, Tim, give me a hand here. Now, let me I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to call in the emergency crews already, I think, right. here. What have you done? Uh, well, so first of all, what I asked for is... Butter. Yeah, a little, little too much butter. But that's butter. It's good for you. Yeah. Okay. Bacon and butter are both good for yeah. you. <laughs> so I may, I'm making... I asked for yellow grits. I see that. Which is the whole corn, right? Well, it's not necessarily the whole corn. It's just a different kind of corn. So you get yellow grits and white grits, but whole corn, yes. Okay. Ground up. Okay. So why, why do you like yellow grits? I've just had it before, and I, I think that I liked it a little bit better than the you white. I mean, yellow, I know white is more popular, but... I think the yellow gives it more flavor? I also felt like doing something different. Obviously, my, my a big culinary gra top. background. Yeah. That is right yeah. here. All right, thank Jeff, you. I'm proud thank of you for that. All right, thank you, Tim. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> so my plan is to do... I mean, I think I have one of the simpler recipes. My plan is to do yellow grits with some cheddar cheese, okay. some bacon, uh, some scallions, last-minute add with some jalapenos, uh, and then some grape tomatoes. That's, I mean, you know... It's all, it's all about the finish, Jeff. So I can't really, you can talk about the ingredients all day. I want to see some action. I will talk about the ingredients all day. <laughs> I will. All right. Okay, Let me so, get going What do you got here, darling? So I, got? I keep sampling the grits because they're just so delicious yeah. for inspiration. So I've got my grits. What I'm doing is I'm grilling some leeks and some scallions. Uh, nice. I'm going to mix into my grits a little bit of cajita cheese. Do you think you want to add a little oil to that while you're grilling them? I had a little oil on the pan. I didn't want it to be too greasy. Okay. I have nothing to flip them with. Huh? Here, I'll flip them for you. See, they look pretty, don't they? They, do look, they look really good. Wait, I'll give you that. Is he allowed to do that? Now remember, 
Yes. With the leeks, you got to cook them a little while. You don't have a whole lot of time. I want to point right. out. Well, we have some pre-grilled, although they're a little ah. more oily. But we have the TV leeks. We do. TV leeks. Perfect. Well, actually, those are my. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And, um, and some scallions. So I'm okay. going to put in some fajita cheese. I think a little bit of um, uh, finely diced jalapeno because I like a little kick in All mine right. too. I'm not kissing up. I submitted this recipe before I knew that's it was not, That's not true. Actually, she came by and said, "Oh, you." Tim, if you could just be quiet, um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> and so then there'll be a little bit the, more. Right? And then I'm going to have some poached egg on top. Uh, the poached and egg. Some I like the poached egg. I love poached egg on grits. So good because then the, then the yolk right. runs into the grits. Stir it all up. I mean, it's like eating slop. It's tremendous in your mouth. I love slop. <laughs> All right. Sounds, Raggy, to me, what we got? sounds to me like she told the celebrity chef to shut up a second ago. Yeah. I think that's a deduction. I deduct that. Oh, that, should that. Oh, that should be a deduction. That should be a deduction, Tim. So what do we got? You got some beef going here. We got some beef going here, some green peppers, some red peppers. I got some uh -huh. onions in there. A little steak sauce to give it a little bit of flavor. Some mushrooms. Uh, some mushrooms in there. You put some A1 in the grits? No. Don't, right. don't, don't question me just yet. <laughs> Defending jam. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you just tell him not to question wow. you? I just want to clarify. I'm just this clarifying. Guy, this guy's putting steak sauce in grits. It's a little nice. embarrassing off the top. No. Yes. No. No. Don't knock it just yet. I'm, I'm not going to knock it. I'm going to taste them. Don't knock it just yet. I'm going to taste them. Exactly. Right. Okay, Marisol, what do you got? I have, I'm adding shrimp. I did some butter, some garlic, some shrimp. I had a little bit too much heat on this hot plate, so I had to lower it a little bit. Okay. My garlic went a little haywire, but I'm trying to salvage it a little bit. I've also added some asparagus for color and texture. Okay. I chopped some of the shrimp. Shrimp and, and grits, huh? I like it. Thank you. Uh, I have a little bit of jalapeno for heat later on, and some various and sundry cheeses, and I, I hope that. you enjoy it. Asparagus, yeah, shrimp, and grits. Is that what we're, we're going with? With heat. You, you say that I'm admonishingly. Just just, that's a great word, by the way. You know, I try. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. This is my story, and okay, I'm sticking, sticking with to it. it. I like it. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to check back here with Jeff a little bit. Good. I'm beginning to play, Jeff, Tim. Jeff, you're beginning to play. It's good. That's good, because we've got about 30 seconds, guys. What? Whoa. What? 30 what seconds. Happened? What happened? Wait a minute. 30 wait a minute. seconds. Wait a minute. You better get on the hustle. I'm, I'm I need a your leeks, your leeks are Jesus, still don't slightly worry, grilling. Are just for show. I, they look good. But my, my cheese isn't melting. Maybe you switch them you out. You gotta put it in earlier. You got it? Oh, Lord. This is you know you're in trouble when I'm advising you on food. <laughs> right. well, I didn't want to say anything, Jeffrey. Yeah. He's but moving you're right. stuff around. Yeah. Roasted tomatoes here. Roasted tomatoes are gonna mm. go on my There's plate. There's a lot of hustle happening right here. These yeah. grits are looking pretty good. Okay, okay. we're gonna be Not right bad. back. They're looking we're good. Work I'm just worried about the flavor of them with an A1 sauce. Tim may do a little test. It's embarrassing that A1 is in grits. We didn't put any A1 in there. Don't worry. It's like a crawfish backing up right now. Look at this. Look at this. Plate them up. Mel, utensils down. Kiss. Grits on the plate, baby.